Hi, my name is Samuel. I'm from Zoom and I'm here at Full Compass talking about the Zoom F8 Field Recorder. The F8 has all the features you need for professional location sound work at a price point that was previously not available. On the front of the F8, we have our LCD screen. On top of a protective UV coating, there's a monochromatic mode that makes it easier to see in bright sunlight. To the right of that, we have our main menu button and knob. Our knob takes us through the different screens you can see on the F8 from our inputs to our outputs to our customizable screen that can be set up to your particular setup. On top of that, we have our slate mic and slate tone switch used to put audio notes as well as send out a calibration frequency. To the right of that, we have our eight input knobs along with our arming channel and our PFL button, which brings up all the options for that input that we'll talk about later. On the bottom, we have our regular transport controls, record, play, stop, fast forward, and rewind. If we move to the left of the unit, we'll see our first four inputs, XLR, TRS inputs, mic should go in XLR, line level should go in TRS. These are new preamps designed by Zoom, our lowest noise floor available at negative 127 dB, uh, a much more uh, robust dynamic range at 75 dB, uh, makes it much tougher to clip. On top of that, we have our dual SD card slots, our USB port used for data transfer as well as using it as an audio interface, and the first of our three power options, a four pin Hiroshi connection. On the other side, we see our other four inputs, again, XLR TRS for five through eight. And on top of that, we get our outputs, our two main outputs on mini XLR, a sub out on a single eighth inch that can be uh, routed separately and broken out from that single eighth inch and our headphone port with a nice strong amp uh, so you can always hear even in the loudest environments. On the back, we have our AC port, our time code in and out on BNC connectors, our compartment for our eight AA batteries, and the Zoom mic capsule input used for the capsules that you can use with the Zoom H6, H5, such as the XY, midside, or shotgun capsules. Let's go through the features that you can put on for each input of the F8. Phantom power can be applied to all eight inputs at either 24 or 48 volts, a high pass filter with a customizable frequency, an input limiter where you can pick a hard or soft knee and then custom set your threshold, attack and release time, our fader, pan, a phase invert, as well as an input delay, and even plug-in power if you're using lavalier mics. There's a stereo link mode that allows you to connect two channels to create a stereo track, but if you're looking to link your gains, you can go to the trim gain link function, which allows you to link two, four, six, or even eight inputs. That way, if you're doing a surround sound mic system, you want one gain out to control it all, it's very easy to set that up. The F8 features two SD card slots. Each can hold up to 512 gigabyte cards. You can set to record to different formats in each, whether polywave, mono, stereo, uh, or tracks one through eight or one through eight plus the stereo track. You could also record tracks one through eight on one card and just a stereo track on the other to send a transcription. You can record up to 192K files or MP3. One of the great redundant features of the F8 is the dual channel record function. This allows you to do a four input mix with a double of those four inputs at 12 dB lower. This allows you to have an extra delay of clip protection the F8 has three power options. It comes with an AC adapter, or you could use eight AA batteries. But the best way, if you want to power this unit for a long shoot, is to use the four pin Hiroshi connection. That allows you to use MP1 battery systems, battery belts, or other rechargeable battery sources. You can even set a voltage if one power source were to fail that it will automatically switch to another. It's always good to have eight AA batteries in there just in case your AC power dies or your rechargeable battery through the four pin Hiroshi die. The F8 comes in under two pounds with no AA batteries in it. This is important, especially if you're taking this unit uh, to a remote location, um, especially warmer or colder climates where every ounce in your backpack counts. The F8 uses a temperature compensated precision oscillator for time code. The time code has a discrepancy of 0.2 ppm, about half a frame in 24 hours. With the temperature compensated precision oscillator, even in warm or cold environments, that precision will never change. You can use any standard drop frame or non-drop frame format. 
With a time code in and out on the back, you could slave this to an external clock or use the F8 as the master clock. You could even jam it to a clock and then let it run on, run on its own. And with a 0.2 ppm discrepancy, you can be assured that your files will never drift out of sync. You can custom route all the outputs of the F8. The main outputs in the sub out can go pre or post fader on each input or just the stereo track. You could also custom set what you want to hear in your headphones and set how you want the PFL to work. The F8 also has an iOS control app that allows you to control all the parameters on the inputs of the F8, uh, use it to enter metadata notes, uh, or even use it as a mixing surface with full control over gain, pan, and each fader. With all the redundant features of the F8, it's the perfect recorder for any location sound engineer. You could use it as your backup, but if you use it as your backup, I think you'll find that it has all the features and the sound quality you need to have it be your go-to unit, even at the price point. To learn more about the F8, go to fullcompass.com or contact your Full Compass sales pro.